Well, hello, treasure hunters. It's Tracy with Tracy's Treasures. Today, I am going to do my very first um, attempt at electrolysis. Um, I have a the first and only buffalo nickel I've ever found. Found it yesterday at Dead Horse Bay in Brooklyn. Um, so, I'm going to attempt to uh, do some electrolysis. Uh, I know I need a conductor. So I'm using the spoon that I also found at Dead Horse Bay simply because it says property. Oh, I guess it's not going to. Property City, New York. I thought that was kind of funny. Like, where did that come from? A prison? Anyway, so that's going to be my conductor. I have uh, a charger here that was from I don't know what. I went to Home Depot. Yes, in the middle of COVID, I had other things to get. But I bought um, these little alligator clips. I have my solution of salt water, uh, warm water, you can probably see the steam. And as per Merrill's instructions, I did put in a little bit of um, lemon juice. So we'll see how that works. So I'm doing this outside because from what I understand, it releases some hydrogen gas and it's kind of smelly. So hold on a second, I'll get this set up and we'll see what happens. So again, as per the instructions I've seen, I put the positive on my conductor, which is the spoon. I have the negative on my nickel, and uh, I'm going to drop it in. I'm going to do my best to not let those touch, but let's see. Oh, you can see it's already starting to work. Lots of bubbles coming off. I guess that's a good sign. I can see it from the top. Kind of see it from the top. Yeah, that's, that seems to be working. So I'm going to let this go for a little bit, uh, maybe a minute or two. And uh, I will come back and we'll see what the results are. So hold on. Okay, we're about a minute into this. Um, things seem to be going well. In hindsight, I probably should have used a uh, clear container, not some kind of opaque Tupperware. But I think you can still see that. Um, so, what's in the water? I have about two tablespoons of just table salt. Uh, some hot water. It wasn't boiling water, but it was very hot water. And I put in probably a tablespoon of lemon juice. Again, that was something that, that Merrill suggested. It's not something I've seen on other channels, but that's okay. I'm going to go with the professor, um, which is what I call him. And again, so far, so good. The water is getting um, a little murky looking. Um, so we're about a minute and a half in. I'm going to let this go for a few more minutes. And we'll see what happens. Again, this is my very first attempt at this on my very first and only buffalo nickel that I found yesterday. It, it's really not that difficult um, for anybody who wants to try this. I, um, I It didn't take me more than a couple of minutes to put together the charger. Again, I have it plugged in up there. Um, just stripped off the ends, made sure I knew which was the positive, which was the negative. Um, bought these alligator clips at Home Depot for about three dollars. Um, threaded them on, screwed them down, and uh, yeah, it seems to be working with my City of New York spoon right off the beach of Dead Horse Bay in Brooklyn. Oh, I'm excited to see the results. So. I'll be back with you maybe in five minutes. Just hang out. Okay, so we're at about the five minute mark. Uh, clearly the water has become quite discolored. There's some things floating in there. So I guess I got this right. Um, in hindsight, there's two things I would say. One, you can probably see there's some bubbles coming out of the top of my uh, negative alligator clip. So I would probably try to... Um, insulate that a little better with tape, which I'll do after this. The second thing is I would probably um, not plug it in until after I dropped it in. I mean, nothing happened, but that doesn't mean something couldn't happen. So I will clearly unplug it 
before I take it out. But look at that go. It's really, it's really churning in there. So I'm excited. Yeah, there's clearly bubbles coming out of the, uh, the top of the alligator clip. So I will for sure make sure I do that differently. I will insulate that a little better or something. But wow, look at all that stuff coming off of that one coin. Now, if this works, I'm going to tell you what, even though it's raining, I'm going to be out here all day cleaning stuff. Because I have some nice coins that I'd like to clean up. Huh. Interesting. Science! So we're at about seven minutes now. Um, still churning. So something I just wanted to go over, which again, I should have done from the beginning. How do you know which wire is positive and which wire is negative? So on most of these chargers, you know, phone chargers or chargers for other things, the positive wire should have, I don't know if you can see it, these little white dashes. So that should tell you that it's positive and the negative wire will not have them. I think you can see that. Um, the positive goes on the conductor, which is the spoon. The negative goes on the coin. I did see another video where they had it opposite, and though it seemed to work, I don't think it worked as well as it could. Um, just to be on the safe side, I do have a little voltage tester, so I just did test the wire to make sure that that one with the white dashes on it was the positive, um, and it was. And again, I've seen it done the opposite where the negative is on the conductor and the positive is on the coin. But I definitely think this is working better because at this point, I mean, it is really murky. And there's all kinds of things floating up. But it's, it's, still, um, it's still churning away. The other thing I would recommend is you don't let the the two things touch inside the water. So the coin and the spoon are not going to touch each other at all. But look at that. It's just amazing to me that all of this is happening. It's very cool. Very, very cool. All right, so we'll give it another minute or two and then uh, we'll pull her out and see what it looks like. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're just past uh, about 11 minutes, and um, look at that. It is just an absolute slurry on top, but it's still going. Um, there's still some action happening on that coin in there. And you know how they say a washed pot never boils. I kept myself busy for the last few minutes uh, metal detecting in my yard, and I found a sinker and some piece of metal. Um, I think I'm gonna get ready to stop this now. I'm also prepping for my next set of coins because this is really cool. Um, I have a couple other things that I'd like to try. I know I, this is probably a piece of a key, but because I don't know that for sure, um, that's also a penny I found yesterday at Dead Horse Bay. And this is my um, Freemason's coin I found about a week ago. And I have a new set of water. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this. Okay. And as you can see, all the churning has stopped. I'm gonna disconnect these and pull the coin out. And let's see. Oh, okay. Looks kind of black, but. definitely seeing more of the coin. I think it probably needs more time in there. So I might put it back. Yeah, I'll probably have to put that back. But so far, so good. Um, so again, if you're looking to do this, um, it was not hard to make. Just an old charger, a couple of alligator clips. Make sure you have the positive on the right wire and the negative. I used a stainless steel spoon as the conductor. Um, my concoction of about two and a half cups of hot water, two tablespoons of just plain old iodized salt, and a couple squirts of uh, 
lemon juice. The positive clip goes in the conductor, the negative on the coin. Put them in the water, don't let them touch, and then plug it in. Those are my recommendations. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, when I'm all done, I will post some pictures of all my coins that I'm going to uh, try to do this to. And um, yeah, so far, it's definitely looking better, my buffalo. But it's got a long way to go. All right, folks. Again, if you've enjoyed this video, found it informative, please like and subscribe to my channel. And um, detectors, if you're anywhere near a place you can go swing, go do it. Social distancing. This is the great hobby. Okay, people. Have a nice day. And check back in. Bye.